it's interesting in Christendom because there's this whole sense of hope, this whole sense of another world that's beyond ourselves, uh, that is beyond ourselves as well. The whole continuity would be two things. It would be, for one, grace, the fact that God actually provides full grace to us to actually get through life, to actually finish the course, as Paul points out. And he also provides perseverance for us. He, also, he actually gives us the ability to see the race through. So the whole continuity in Christendom is actually living life faithfully, recognizing that, that when we sin, recognizing that when we fall, we see the actual despicable nature of that. We can actually confess that. We can actually surrender that to the cross, recognizing it's been defeated. Whereas in modernity, it's very interesting, uh, the way that continuity goes on, the way that you they actually try to pass on values, is through a type of works righteousness. In modernity and in all forms of humanism, you have to earn your own salvation. You have to be a good person. You have to do certain things because you want people to like you, or you want to be accepted, or you want to be seen as being on the right side of history, which just means in that context that you want to be seen as being on the right side of whatever is popular at the time. It's a very different way of living. It's a way that produces anxiety. It's a way that produces worry and so forth. It's, it's not the way of grace that recognizes that men are actually fallen and that men are actually called to something beyond themselves that requires a power beyond themselves. 